Okay, here we go to the program here to set the macro key. Uh, we try to set the macro here. First, make a new. Say uh, the first one we call it a key key two. Press enter, then we can start record. Then it's a uh, number two because two is used to change the reference from the machine guns to the shotgun. Then confirm. Then I set this button to S2. You see the Marco key is appear here, key two. Then I set the another one. Uh, say the button A, which is the side button here. It's also in the Marco. I want to make a new one for the key three. Press enter, start record. It's three. Okay, then this button is the function three. And number nine is one. I set number nine as four, which is grenade. record confirm okay and the so number nine is key four and the last one is uh, key one I make the road to scroll here to scroll up that's key one take a deal enter Stop record. Stop record. Confirm. Okay. And the three here is Q1. Then we apply and confirm. Okay. Then we go into the game to test whether all these functions can work in the pawn spring. Usually we have to press the keyboard here, 1, 2 is the shotgun, 3 is life, and 4 is the grenade. So now I see, I press 2, it changed the shotgun, 3 here, change your life, and 4 is grenade. When I scroll up here, it goes to the machine guns. That means all I change the weapon is using my right hand and my left hand is just used to control the movement so it is much faster than you swap your left hand from the ASWD to the 1234 and then go back see it's, it's really work in this game very fast quick respawn it's really good.